All right, let's start it off with a call because I do not feel like recording this multiple times. It's 5 a.m. and I've been up all night. Um, so let's do an about call. Voice update, great. Conversational booking, leaving notes in the contacts stuff here. Full dynamic data. It gets everything from the contact. Uh, we have a workflow action. I will show, but I figured we'd knock out the call first. So boom. Hello? Hey, Jordan. This is Haley from Assistable. AI, I saw you submitted your info on the site. What caught your eye? The voice assistants. Awesome. I'd love to tell you more about how our voice assistant can help streamline your lead follow-up. First, how are you currently handling that process? Uh, right now, it's just through workflows and uh, automated text messages. Got it. What's the current problem? Okay, I see. And what niche do you serve with your clients? I'd love to understand more about your business so I can share how our voice assistant could help streamline that lead follow-up process for you. Yeah, the niche is, is, we'll call it roofing. Roofing, got it. Well, our voice assistant could be a game changer for that. We've helped a lot of roofing contractors automate their lead follow-up and booking process to free up time. Would you be open to me walking you through how it works and seeing if it could be a good fit? Yeah, do you have any time on Monday? Absolutely. Let me check our availability. How does Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern sound? I can get that booked for you right now if that works. Do you have anything later or no? Okay, no problem. How about 4 p.m. Eastern on Monday instead? That should work better for your schedule. Yeah, that's fine. Do that. Sounds good. One second while I block that time off for you. Great. I've got you scheduled for a call on Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern. I look forward to speaking with you then and showing you how our voice assistant can streamline your lead follow-up process. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks. Bye. Pretty cool, right? And then if we update here, obviously you saw the, um, the appointment come in live, but the assistant will actually leave notes. Look at that, 505. Boom. Leave the note along with that. Very, very cool. So let's move on to the cool new stuff of the assistant. Let's set it up. So no phone numbers, you'll notice. Uh, what's the difference with that? We're running transient numbers. So we have this big, 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 big database of numbers all over the world. You do not need a phone number to outbound call. We will just run a transient number. So you send us a call. We'll make a call with a number very, very close to the person that you're calling. Whether it's all over the world, obviously I've been testing it locally. I just tested it in Australia, calling someone in Australia work perfect. So transient numbers outbound right now until we can get a great solution for international inbound numbers as well. So, uh, but right now we're rocking inbound. So we come here, create an inbound assistant. Let's go ahead and check off this, which is just compliance. We'll come here and you'll notice all kinds of fun new stuff, right? Uh, easy setup language, all these languages that model is heavily trained on all of these languages. You'll see a giant voice library, right? Uh, way more than we had before. And these also are not only just regular regular voices, but very accented voices, French, German, um, Portuguese, whatever you want, those will be in there, right? Transfer number, leave a voicemail. You can tell it what voice, me what voice message to leave. Recording, interruption threshold. Do you want it to be super, super fast or do you want it to wait for a reply more? You can set all that there, all right? Prompt, greeting message. We can wait for a greeting here, which is just saying, do you want them to say the greeting message as soon as they pick up the phone or do you wanna wait until they say hello? Prompt goes here, temperature goes here, training data. So training data set can pull into our regular chat or voice assistance training data here. It will not use the PDF CSV everything right now just for latency, but it will piggyback off the calendar. That's what it uses for conversational booking. So pick something here, make sure a calendar is connected or we won't be able to conversationally book. Pronunciation training, value extraction. If there's a word that is not pronounce, uh, pronouncing well, tell it what word, tell it how to pronounce it, just like a dictionary, right? And then we can get granular on how we manage, how it uh, finds that word in our prompting. And then value extraction, what do you want to know? Who answered the call? Tell us what type of data. Um, you can ask us anything here. We'll pull that data, extract it for you, and then put it in the logs. Boom. Uh, logs, you'll also notice that uh, we'll go here to mine. Cost per minute is extremely cheap. Look at that. That that call was almost two minutes, 16, set, 16 cents, two minutes. Incredible, right? Transcripts, summary, listen to the recording, download the recording, all that right here for you. You can see... Um, super, super fun. Really, really cheap. You don't need a number. We'll run transient number. You can tell the latency was amazing. Conversational bookings in there. It pulls from the calendar live. It will leave notes in the contact afterward. And then we just have a workflow action. So before I get over there, 
assistant IDs up here up top, just copy that. And then when we go to automations, when you install our application into high level, you will notice a custom workflow action. And if you're a current user and you do not have this, reset your connection, it should just update it or you can update it in the high level app marketplace. And you will now see this. I'm gonna blur this out because this is my assistant ID. Just put in your assistant ID, put in an intro message here with custom values, custom fields, whatever you want, make it hyper customized, and then just run the contact through here. We will collect all the information possible from that contact in the CRM to make sure the assistant is fed all the dynamic data that they need. So complete dynamic data, transient numbers, call anywhere in the world. We have the number for it, we'll make it work. We'll send you back the data, not only to your contact in high level, but into your assistant logs. And then now you can call with AI. And as you can tell, the latency and the conversational aspect, the voice is quite amazing if I can pat myself on the back. So happy Saturday, it's 5 a.m. I've been up all night, I'm going to sleep. I hope everybody enjoys. Thanks so much.